Hi folks, okay, I'm in charge of making the buns for our hamburger dish uh, today and I'm going to be doing a, a traditional South African recipe called a rooster cook recipe and it's called rooster cook because we cook it over uh, an open fire and in our case we're going to be cooking it on a Kadak Safari Chef but uh, the word rooster is actually the grid that goes over the barbecue and that's where it gets the name. So today we're going to use a basic bread recipe. Um, I've got uh, two cups of flour uh, we'll need a bit of oil, um, some salt, uh, a little bit of sugar, uh, some tepid water. The water should be tepid, not too hot. You don't want to kill the yeast. We've got uh, some yeast. Okay, let's start off. First of all, I'm going to put uh, a little bit of the water into a bowl, add the yeast and the sugar and let that uh, dissolve. Okay, so into the, into the bowl goes uh, some of the water. Just enough to dissolve the yeast and let's get the flour out the way and into there I'm going to be putting uh, two teaspoons of uh, just ordinary yeast. Okay, that's about 10 mils of, um, of yeast and uh, to that I'm also going to be adding uh, about 15 mils of sugar which is about three teaspoons of sugar. And the sugar just gives the bread that sort of lovely sweetness you can taste um, deep inside that uh, first mouthful. Okay, so we'll put the yeast to this uh, one side. Let's just uh, give that a bit of a stir. And we'll get the yeast dissolving and that will start foaming uh, in a few minutes. So let's put that to one side. And okay, so to the flour, as I said, two cups of flour, I'm going to be adding... Um, about two tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil. All right, and uh, I'm going to be adding about five mils of salt, which is about a teaspoon. So there you go. And that I'm adding to the flour. All right, so let's get these ingredients, we start mixing them up. And to this I'm going to gradually add uh, water and just a little at a time until we've got a dough uh, going. So at the moment we've got a bit of a crumbly, floury uh, consistency in the bowl. And then before we get any further I'm going to be adding the yeast and sugar mixture. Let's just give that one last stir. Okay, in goes the yeast and the, and the sugar with a little bit of water. And I'm starting to get a nice dough over here. So once, once you've got a dough-like consistency uh, from the flour, you can start kneading this with your hands. And I think it's quite important to use your hands. Um, what happens in the kneading process is you aerate... Um, the dough quite nicely and that gives us a sort of light fluffy light fluffiness okay so as we're kneading it's picking up all of the loose flour and we now have a nice consistent dough like so all right so once you've kneaded the dough for about five minutes it should be ready to rest so what we'll do is we'll take our dough and put it into a, a bowl and I'm going to Put a little bit of flour into the bowl. Um, it'll stop the dough sticking to the bowl as it rises. So we're just going to lightly flour that and take our dough into this bowl. So we're going to let this rest for about an hour and during that time it'll double in size and that's the aeration process that's taking place. So the yeast is doing its work in expanding and uh, fermenting within uh, the dough. All right, so let's cover that in a nice warm place for an hour and then we'll be ready to cook our buns. Okay, so our, our dough has been resting for the last hour and when we uncover it, as you can see, it's uh, doubled in size. So what we'll do now is we're going to divide it into four buns uh, for the cooking process.
Okay, so let's let's get the dough and we'll divide it equally into four pieces. Okay, so once they're divided into four equal parts, roll them into balls and we'll just cover them again for a further 15 minutes or so. Okay, our buns have had a chance to uh, rise and they're now doubled in size, as you can see, ready to go onto the fire. As I said to you, we're going to be uh, cooking or baking these buns on a Kadex Safari Chef. If you've never used a Kadex Safari Chef, it's one, probably one of the most remarkable inventions or products that have come out of Kadex uh, for many years. Okay, so I've been preheating the uh, oven or the dome cooker. Um, one of the secrets of cooking on uh, a grid is to oil the grid. And I'm just going to dab this paper towel with some oil and just give the grid a once over just to stop the dough sticking to to the grid all right so we can place our buns onto the kadak safari chef and incidentally if you're going to be baking these in an oven you'd probably be wanting to bake at about 180 degrees and probably for about uh, 30 to 40 minutes. If you're going to be baking these over an open fire uh, you probably want a very moderate to cool fire, not too hot. You should be able to hold your hand over the fire for about 10 seconds without having to put it away and you're probably doing about 10 minutes per side uh, for these buns to cook properly over an open fire. But on the Kadex Safari Chef we're probably going to be taking about about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour to bake these through. Okay, so our, our buns have been baking in the Kadex Safari Chef for about uh, 40 minutes now. And don't forget that we turned them over halfway just so that they get a chance to bake on both sides. So let's see how they're doing. Right, and these look like really super homemade buns. What do you say? Let's go make some hamburgers. <laughs> 